So you want to make a dress in Blender. Well, I've got a little tutorial today that's going to show you exactly how you can do that. Here is the final result. Now I'm assuming you guys have your own character that you want to follow along with. All I have is this really super easy, simple mannequin that I've got that I just rigged up and I added just a simple animation where the arms fold in like that. However you do it, just make sure your character you're working with starts off in a T pose and you should be able to follow along quite well with this tutorial. I'm going to keep it nice and simple, pretty beginner friendly. And you can see this is kind of like, you know, the result we have here with our dress. Um, I think it looks pretty good and you can definitely, um, you know, improve upon this technique. So let's jump in and make this dress. So like I mentioned in the beginning, I have a example already set up where I just have a female character that I have rigged that I just started off in the T pose and she just folds her arms like this. And it doesn't even really matter. You don't even need an animated character. You can just kind of have a mesh character in a T pose. But all that matters is that you're going to make sure it's symmetrical and you're going to make sure that your origin point is in the center and your character is stationed in the center of your world. That's just going to make things easier for you. You're then going to go shift a and under our mesh options we're going to add in a plane with this plane we're going to go and move it up on the x about to the middle and then you're going to tab into edit mode and inside of edit mode you're going to with everything selected you're going to go r x 90 and here and then press enter then you can go g and y and move it forward till it's not penetrating through the body then in your front of graphic view you're going to go to your modifiers and in 4.0, you can click here and add modifier and then you're gonna click search and let's type in mirror and let's get a mirror modifier. Let's grab in our front orthographic view, this edge over here and then go G, X, move it over. And then let's enable clipping and then go G, X and let's move it in just to clip it together like that. So now we have a setup ready to go. So let's press A to select everything, go G, Z. We're gonna move it down and for our dress, we want the bottom over here to be about where the, just a little bit above the ankles. And then we're gonna grab this top bit here and we're gonna go G and we're gonna move it in. We're gonna move it to about the middle of the waist here. And then let's go to our vertex select option. Let's just maybe grab this vertex, drag, move it in just a little bit. And we don't wanna to go too crazy, um, but always keep in mind, you don't wanna bring it too close because we still need to allow it to wrap around the body. So I'd say keep it just like, about this much away from the side here, but a little bit more here towards the bottom. So we have a little bit more um, kind of flapping. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and let's just grab these two verts. We're gonna go Shift D to duplicate them, move them up. And in this case, we're gonna go E to extrude. I'm gonna extrude up to about here, just underneath the arm. And then we're gonna go R to rotate that. And let's go Control R, add in a loop over here double G just to slide it up a bit. And then let's select this edge. Let's go E to extrude and let's move it up to about here. And then let's go control R, add in a loop over here again, then select this edge here. S to scale it a little bit, just move it out and up. And then E to extrude and let's extrude it about this much. So now we have this shape over here. And let's go to a vertex select option. Let's select these two verts and just go G, Z, move them down a little bit. And now we're gonna come in here, control R, let's roll in two loops. And you can see all of these are roughly looking like squares, which is exactly what we want. Then we're gonna press, um, I guess we're gonna come down here first. We're gonna go control R and we're gonna roll in about this many loops. Okay, about 11 loops. And then what we want to do is before we roll in the ones going this way, we want to make sure we count the edges here. So there's one, two, three edges. So over here, we want to go control R and just roll in two loops. So we have one, two, three edges here as well. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold in shift and select these and these guys here. And then I'm going to go control E and just go bridge edge loops like that. Okay. And now let's go A to select everything. Let's right click and let's click subdivide. Let's come over here to a number of cuts and let's bump it up three times like that. Okay, which is exactly what we're looking for. And then let's come over here to our edge select option and let's go to our materials tab and let's go new. And let's just come to the viewport and let's just make this a blue color. 
And then let's come over here plus and let's now select some areas that we want to add some a decorative feature to. So for me, I'm going to come over here and just select above this bit over here where we joined them. So I'm going to select this many um, faces over here and just going to go ahead and create that new material and assign it. I'll leave that as white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new material and I'll just make this like a bright red just so I can see it easy. Then I'm just going to select an edge like so and I'm going to go ahead and assign that material. And this is going to be where we have our material kind of being cut and stitching together. And then we're going to come one, two, three, four, five edges in. And let's just select this and holding in shift and control. Let's go all the way down, selecting this whole column running down like this. Let's go ahead and assign that red material as well. And now we have an areas where we're going to cut it. But what we also want to do, let's just also go ahead and press C and just get the selection tool and just select the inside here over here, going all the way up to we get to the red, um, red material over here. So just that inside bit here and let's give it that middle white material as well. And now that we have that done, press A to select everything and go E to extrude and extrude it back like so and make sure that it's not sticking into the body. It's just kind of like this. Now go over to your mesh edit mode and just go ahead and enable normals. And at the moment, the normals are all pointing inwards, which is not what we want. So we're gonna press A to select everything, Alt N, and let's go ahead, recalculate outside. And now they're all pointing out nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that off again. And now let's go to our face select option and select all of these bottom faces, X, and let's delete those faces. And we're also gonna have an opening here at the neck. So let's grab this one here, holding and shift and control click on this one. So we select all those inward ones and let's go X and delete those faces. But these ones here at the top, they kind of go across. This is where we want them to kind of join. So we're not gonna delete that. So we're gonna select these ones all the way down to here, all the way down to here, the opening of the arm. And we're gonna go X and we're gonna go faces. And now we have only the side ones select active, um, left still and these ones over here. So let's go into our right orthographic view. In wireframe, let's just click and drag to select all of these side faces like so. And let's go X and this time instead of going faces, we're gonna go only faces. So it's gonna leave the edges like that. Okay, that's really cool. And now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna click on this material over here, the last red material we created. I'm gonna click on select and now it's gonna select all of those red bits for us. And now we can just go X and go only faces. And now that's all done for us. So now let's, um, but yeah, I forgot to do one thing. We also wanna come over here. This is oh, above this white part. Let's just go control R, add in the loop. Double G just to slide it down a bit. And let's come at the back here. Control R, double click. Let's just slide one down. So we have an extra edge running here and let's just, um, select that row and this row here and just go X and delete only faces. And then let's go to our vertex select option and just select this vertex and this vertex over here. Just press F just to connect them. Okay, we just needed to do that bit as well. So now we can tab back out. Let's make sure to save and then let's grab our character mesh. So whatever character you're working with, you're gonna make sure you go to your mod, um, physics, give it a collision and then go to your modifiers. You wanna make sure the collision is sitting at the very bottom if you have an armature. So make sure it's always, to make sure it's always sitting underneath your armature. This way the cloth is gonna to know to interact with the character surface. Then we're gonna select a dress and we're gonna go over to our physics and let's give it a cloth. Then let's go down to our shape. Let's enable the sewing and let's give it a strength of 15, like so. And let's go over to collisions and enable self collision. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to frame one. And in my case, it's gonna start in a T pose and fold the arms down. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the space bar. And now you can see this is what I have. So I'm gonna pause quickly. I'm gonna right click and go shade smooth. And if you have a lot of stretching like this, you just need to give it a little bit more fabric. So all you're gonna do is go back to frame one Go into edit mode and then just select the parts in your character's mesh where you need to give it a little bit more volume. So I'm gonna select these guys here and go G with proportional editing and just bulge it out a little bit. And do the same thing over here like that. Tab back out, go to frame one and then hit the space bar. 
and it's still stretching a little bit here. So what I might do is just grab the whole thing, S to scale it in object mode, and then I go Control A and just apply that scale just a bit. Now the dress is just a little bit bigger overall. So in edit mode, I'll just maybe move it up even just a little bit more. Okay, let's see what that does. Okay, now that's looking a lot better, like that. Okay, so once we have the cloth simulation running, we're gonna select the cloth and then you can go to your modifiers and let's give the cloth, let's click on add modifier, let's search and get a solidify. So type in solid, get a solidify modifier. And you can come ahead here and give it a little bit of thickness. So I'm gonna go like that. And then let's go click on here again, let's search sub and let's get a subdivision surface modifier. And now we have this. So let's go back to frame one. And to make this look really good, let's go over to our physics. And now we're gonna take the quality steps up to 20. And we're gonna go down to our self collision and let's come to the collisions here and let's just make that seven on the quality. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our cache. I have 120 frames here, so I'm just gonna go for 120 frames with my cache. I'm gonna make sure to save, and then you're just gonna click on bake to bake your cloth simulation. And here we have the cache, as you can see, looking pretty good. Only thing is, um, since my arms are falling down, what I probably would do is delete the bake, and then just in edit mode, um, kind of bring these guys in a little bit. It really just depends sometimes on how broad the shoulders are of the model that you're working on. Um, sometimes you can bring those in a little bit more, sometimes you can leave them out, um, really just depends. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and rebake that. And there we go. That's already looking a lot better. So that is how you can make a simple dress in Blender. I'm going to go ahead and just hide my character mesh just so we can kind of have a look at the dress, see what it looks like. Um, definitely go ahead, up the quality steps even more, mess around with some of the parts, but this is how you can make a dress in Blender. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Definitely give it a like, subscribe, check out some of my other content, and you can also join Skillshare for free for one month if you use my link in the description below.